Hello friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. Got something entirely different. I'm not a knife maker. I have made a few knives over the years though, out of files and things like that, and they've turned out real nice and real nice knives. But I got a knife here that I just like. I don't know why I like it so much. I don't know that I need to explain it. I just like it. But uh, anyway, it's a cheapy knife. It really is. But I like this knife. <laughs> It's, uh, this is approximately what it looks like. It's, it's a full, I've already started taking a little piece of it apart. That's why that fell off. But anyway, it's just a folding knife, and that, you know, and it's uh, great for skinning. It holds a great edge. It's just the right size for what I like. It's got the gut hook in here that uh, unzips the animal when you're you know, wanting to take the hide off. Well, anyway, or field dress it, I should say, really. I've already taken out one of the uh, pins that help hold this knife together. The reason, I mean, I like everything about this knife except this stupid handle. This handle was glued on. I mean, it's a China knife, don't get me wrong. Uh, but this handle was glued on and it keeps coming off. And I've tried all kinds of stuff. I don't know, maybe epoxy would hold it. But it's kind of a rubbery handle and I doubt it would hold it. So I'm done with that idea. I'm just going to monkey with this and uh, see if I can't improve it considerably. Now, if I can, you'll see the rest of this video. If I cannot, we're done already. <laughs> There you go. That was fairly easy. Now can we put it back together? to these scales, I believe. At least that's what I'm gonna to try to do. You know, keep in mind I'm inventing as I go. I've never done this particular process before. So we will see how this goes. of having those locked in is I can drill these holes and I don't feel like I'll have to worry about them moving on me. I was doing a little test fitting and uh, with the spring uh, which is there and then the uh, little uh, lock lever here and uh, it looks like I need to clean up some of this wood before I get all put back together. And the reason is it, those parts will be in the way, like on the end of the blade here too, cleaning this end up. Uh, it'll be easier to clean those up now, so I'm gonna go take them to the sander and uh, clean those up. I'm going to take this on my thickness uh, planer and or my thickness sander and sand these uh, scales down, uh, you know, sliding on top of this metal here. And uh, at least we'll get it, uh, you know, closer before I have to do a lot of hand finishing. Well, I'm trying to decide. I don't have rivet rivets. I've got steel nails. <laughs> That's what I'm going to use as my rivets. 
No, I've never tried to rivet wood like this uh, in this in this fashion. Anyway, I think I'm going to have to uh, get some of this profile into the handle uh, before I consider riveting it, because uh, I do think some of the uh, profile is going to curl down and it's going to affect the rivets. So I don't know. I've never tried to do this before. I'm just winging it as I go. So here we go. I just clamped a little board across here as a stop so that I could uh, use that to uh, hold against to plane. All right, we're going to see what happens when we start putting this puppy together. Never done anything like this before in my put together, so let's just see what happens. I'm hoping I don't split the wood out. I The holes are just about 2,000 smaller than the nails. And... Uh, the nails are just about 2,000 smaller than the metal. <laughs> so, I don't know, I'm hoping it works. We just have to give it a shot. I've never done anything like this exactly before. I'm going to uh, get the nail started here through this part and see if I can get it lined up with the bottom part. I think that's going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these off. See if there's a way we can brad them together. I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> it may not need to be bratted. They're really driven tight. <laughs> I've got my safety glasses on and I'm going to cut this nail off right here. Yeah, that worked pretty good. See if I can cut off these other ones. These are going to be a little harder to cut off because no room to get in there with these particular clines. Well, I can maybe get one here on this end this way. We got them cut off. Uh, not real good. I think what I'm going to do is just take a, go over to the grinder and grind them almost flat, not quite all the way to the wood, just, just a hair from touching the wood. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, it probably could be a little better, but shoot, you know, it's not too bad. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get brave and put the other nail in there and see if it's going to work before I go any further. Alright, now the trick is i got to get this in the right spot. We're going to give it a shot. I've got it lined up as best I can for now. Maybe not good enough though. Give it another shot here. I don't know. Seems like I'm bending it or something. It doesn't look like it's going. Unfortunately. All 
Locked in there good, too. Woohoo! 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 It worked. I can't believe it. Okay, well, let's cut her off. All right, we're gonna go take that to the grinder and then we'll do our final touch up here. Well, so far, so good. I got them all ground down to just barely proud of the wood. Uh, you know, it locks, opens, and it doesn't wiggle. It's real good and snug and tight. Now, we'll tighten it up even a little bit more as we bread these uh, nails out, I hope. Uh, don't know about that either. Never really done that this way before. I have no idea how this is going to go, and I may end up splitting the wood right here. This would be bad, but I've got a little tiny ball-peen hammer. Well, I'll be darn. can hardly even feel them. <laughs> You can feel that one a little more than the other one, but not too bad. I gotta tell you, that's not bad at all. You don't feel them hardly. I mean, you can see them and you can tell they're sticking up, but they're but they're rounded off so well that you don't hardly don't even care. This one's a little bit higher. I'm going to take it down a little bit. Pretty darn good. I'm real happy with that. Okay. Now I'm going to sand her real good. i got to watch this blade. It's pretty sharp. i got to watch that blade. I don't cut myself here. I've always liked the looks of uh, linseed oil on uh, rosewood. It just looks real nice. So that's what I'm going to do. It's just this is just boiled linseed oil. Just take a rag and then just wipe it on. Well, I hope you found that interesting and. Uh, I did oil it up. It's moving quite a bit better now. It's not uh, completely free, but I don't need it to be like an instant open knife. I'm not in no knife fights or nothing, you know. <laughs> so I just like that blade and I just like the way it works. And it's an easy one to sharpen. Uh, it's razor sharp right now. It shaves no problem at all. <laughs> so it's, it's very good, very sharp knife. Here's, I don't know, I've never tried this. This is the first time I've tried it right on camera. So, so probably a dumb idea. Not too bad. There's a trick to how you hold the paper too, and get it close to your hand. Yeah, it, it's not too bad. It's, it's a very sharp knife. Can it be sharper? Sure, yeah. But it's, uh, it shaves, and that's just, once they shave, that's good enough for me. <laughs> and uh, I uh, do sh I do sharpen them on a piece of leather that I glued to a board, uh, the last little bit anyway, and uh, I hone them on that, and uh, it uh, it gets them really sharp if you do that for a little while. It turned out pretty darn good for me. I like it a lot. Cheap knife at uh, my normal labor rate at $60 an hour. This only cost me about 75 bucks. Not bad. <laughs> Thanks for watching.